my good old Mega Zero One is now a dual Z-axis printer. As you can see, happily printing with two Z-axis. Um, bit of a hack job at the moment, just because I um, didn't have quite the right bracket, so I modified a 3D printed bracket for this one here so that uh, this particular bit doesn't crash into it. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm also, as you can see, running a full power supply. So a nice Meanwell LRS350 12 volt edition. Um, my Octo Pi down there. Um, and as you can tell by the horrible noise that it's currently making, um, I am using the OEM uh, mainboard that came with the Mega Zero One because I uh, managed to blow up my <laughs> SKR Mini MZ. Uh, so I have a new one of those uh, coming because, um, yeah, that's such a nice board and I was pretty filthy with myself for blowing it up. Um, but yeah, so the other cool thing about this particular upgrade is that I'm also using 2mm pitch um, Z uh, screws, for, which gives it significantly more accuracy. Uh, so yeah, not only am I going to get even printing on either side of um, the bed, you know, there's no, no drop uh, from one side to the other because both sides are fully supported, um, I can also, um, instead of having an 8mm pitch screw, two 2mm two pitch screws uh, instead. Uh, and one of the advantages to that is that it means it's basically four times more precise at moving up and down. Uh, so for example, um, instead of requiring uh, 400 um, revolutions um, of my stepper motor to, um, to move one millimeter, it now requires 1600 millimeter, uh, 1600 uh, rotations to move one millimeter. So it can actually move far more precisely in that range. So yeah, pretty happy with this upgrade. It's um, doing pretty well so far.